Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Hey, baby. Your doom is a hot mess. That's right. Put your standard deviant doom hats on. And let's look into some scary temperature anomalies. At the Weather Channel by Linda Lamb. Weather. A heat burst caused a 17 degree jump in one hour in Texas town. Now that's pretty scary, people. I mean, how many standard deviations can we go up in temperature before people die? At 17 degrees, not many. Looks like it happened to Childress, but I wonder what caused the one hour spike. 3 p.m.? 3 a.m.? No, that doesn't say yet. I think that would be important, though. The top graph shows temperature over time for West Texas Mesonet Station near Childress, Texas, on April 16th to the 17th, 2017. The temperature spike around 3 a.m. highlighted in the black box. Oh, hello, Saturn. The bottom graph indicates relative humidity during the same time period. A heat burst caused by an impressive 17 degree temperature spike, 3 and 4 a.m. Wow, it's a weird time for. Maybe it's the pulse. We got a pulse in Africa and then a pulse in South America, and somehow it runs the weather like the two dudes in Thunderdome. What were their names? It was like Muscle and the Dork or crap, I'll never know. It's kind of weird, kind of scary. But like George W. Bush said, if you're out past 2 a.m., you were up to no good. And obviously, this little area was getting a little too hot. At 3 a.m., it was 64 degrees at the West Texas Mesonet Station, just north northeast of Childress. A city of about 6,000. 6,000 what? People? Ants? Chimpanzees? Giraffes? Zebras? Unicorns? Smurfs? Care Bears? <sighs> Whatever happened to journalism, man? In the Southeast Texas Panhandle. And at 4 a.m., the temperature had risen to 81 degrees. Courtesy of a heat burst. Dun dun dun. CME. Wonder if we were getting hit with a coronal mass ejection or hot and heavy solar wind. Oh man. A heat burst is a potential byproduct of a thunderstorm. Specifically a dying thunderstorm. We're all dying in some way, so get busy living. Typically, when thunderstorms decay, there's enough precipitation to survive dry air aloft, which results in rain and sometimes wind or hail reaching the surface. The heat the spikes aren't alarming enough for you. Then check out the hail. The hail has been from hell. A giant baseball size, cantaloupe size, golf ball size, tennis ball size, gum ball size. However, when there's not enough precipitation falling or the air is too dry, the precipitation evaporates above the surface. Consequently, the air falls quickly and warms by compression. And the rest is a blast of hot, dry wind reaching the surface. Or a late night Taco Bell surprise. That joke was stupid. I just punched myself in the stomach. Give me a moment. When this takes place at night, as many heat bursts do, the temperature rise can be impressive as it pushes through a typical shallow layer of cooler air near the surface. In the latest case, a decaying thunderstorm was in the area in the overnight hours. The radar images below shows a small area of precipitation near Childress around 3 a.m. It had been a thunderstorm just a few hours earlier. Only a few hundreds of an inch of rainfall was measured during the 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. hour at this station near Childress, and no precipitation was recorded at 3 a.m. All right. In addition to the temperature jump, relative humidity levels plunged to around 20% at 3 a.m. As can be seen in the second graph at the top of this page, relative humidity represents the amount of water vapor in the air with lower percentages generally indicating drier air. An increase in wind was also noted at the time of the spike in temperature, which is expected during a heat burst. Sustained winds rose to about 20 miles per hour with the gusts close to 30 miles an hour. You see, heat bursts are difficult to detect because they are common. They are the most common in the plains, where the network of weather instruments is sparse unless a weather station records the rapid changes not be noted. Hey, just last year, a heat burst occurred on June 15th near Hollis, Oklahoma, which resulted in the temperature rising to almost 100 degrees around 9 p.m. after the temperatures had already started to drop for the night. Wind gusts of up to 64 miles per hour accompanied that heat burst. Interestingly, a second weaker heat burst was experienced a few hours later, just before 1 a.m. Oh, hey, yeah, and another heat burst on May 3rd, 2006 had strong enough wind gusts that planes were flipped and roofs were damaged near Meacham International Airport in Fort Worth. So there you go. Crazy times, crazy heat bursts. 17 degrees, Texas. You know, the weather's been weird. Tornadoes like crazy. Flooding. Lightning. Anyway, watch the heat. Stay hydrated. Be cool. God bless everyone. Peace out.